Hello, this is Koki from Koki.in and you're watching the unboxing and review of Macromax Canvas Turbo A250. Here is the box pack. This packing is similar to as seen on the Macromax Canvas 4. Let's check out the specifications as mentioned on the box pack. 1.5 GHz quad core, 3G supported, 5 inch IPS screen with Full HD resolution, 2 GB RAM, 16 GB internal storage, 13 MP rear autofocus camera, 5 MP front camera, quad band, Full HD recording and playback supported runs on the Android Jelly Bean 4.2, 2000 mAh battery and it also comes with light proximity, gravity and magnetic sensors. The SAR value and the model number A250. This handset comes with some camera enhancements, 360 panorama capture, object eraser and cinemagraph. Let's start the unboxing process. Uh, here is the handset. We will have a look at this later. Inside the box, you will find the earphone, nice looking ones, data cable, earplug cover, travel charger, warranty statement, download goodies, SAR compliance, blow to unlock feature, iFloat multitask interface, and the user manual. You also get this SIM tray ejector. Now let's check out the handset, uh, the specification mentioned on the factory fitted film, Android phone by Mac Max. It's full aluminum body, matte finish and here is the logo. It's blue color handset and it comes with a non-removable battery of 2000 mAh capacity. This is a dual SIM handset and here are the slots. Three touch sensitive buttons on the front, on the top the in-call speaker, the sensors and the front 5 megapixel camera. On the top there is the micro USB port. On the right side there is the power button and below the power button you will find the volume rockers. On the bottom the mic and the 3.5mm audio jack. On the rear the speaker out, 13 megapixel autofocus rear camera with LED flash and the mic. Here is the SIM card ejector, you need to insert it into this hole. This will eject the tray. As mentioned there are dual SIM slots and uh, these are micro SIM slots, you need a micro SIM. Micromax Canvas Turbo weight is around 137 grams with battery, this is lighter than the Magnus. The thickness is 8.74 mm, breadth is 71.31 mm and the length is 142.85 mm. I'm going to remove the factory film and uh, this is how the handset looks complete black from the front side. Let's switch on the canvas turbo animation and here is the home screen. Performance looks good, touch is smooth and responsive. Here are the three backlit buttons, they have lightened up. The viewing angle looks uh, pretty good. Wi-Fi hotspot, USB and Bluetooth tethering is supported. 0.98 GB total space for apps of which 883 MB is available and the internal SD card storage is 12.46 GB. Phone storage 884 MB free and internal card 12 GB free and of the 2 GB RAM you get around 1.5 GB free. There is built-in GPS, make sure you enable the EPO and also enable the EPO auto download. There is smart gestures, here are the settings, we have seen this on the Micromax Magnus. System information Cortex A7, 1.5 GHz quad core with Power VRS GX544 MP GPU. Hardware is MT6589 running on 4.2.1 Jelly Bean and the screen resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixels. Here is the battery 84%, looks good. And here are the sensors as mentioned on the box, we will check it out. There is uh, accelerometer, proximity, light, gyro and magnetic sensors. Let's check out the benchmark scores. Quadrant benchmark score is 4648 and tutor score is 15473. Willamo HTML5 1568 Metal 590. There is LED notification as you can see here. Nina Mark 2 32.7 FPS and uh, this handset supports 10 point multi-touch just like the Magnus A117. Here is the Blackberry Messenger link. I've been using the handset continuously for 23 minutes. The battery level dropped by 13% and the temperature rose to 38 degrees. 
there is the iFloat tray app when you tap it you get this icon you can move this icon anywhere you tap this icon and you get some shortcuts you can tap hold and move it to hide this tray I have now connected my pen drive using the OTG cable and uh, it does get detected external USB storage OTG is supported pen drive removed now let's check out the camera here are some new settings on the left side you have the GIF animation 3d panorama and remove object some more settings here zero shutter delay face detection picture size is 13 megapixel the front camera is 5 megapixel as you can see I've set the video quality to fine and I'm recording a video. This video was recorded in 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. And now let's check out the three new features. There is the GIF animation. We'll check this out. What you see is a grid here. I'm going to place the pen drive. It's just an object and I've started the recording. And I'm just moving the pen drive. And now I have to select a particular area that I want to be animated and uh, just click the preview button and this is what happens and uh, here is the 3d panorama over the air updates are supported and uh, here is the video player the pop-up video player you can watch this video anywhere on the screen the video player also comes with the pause on look away option and a multi video view Micromax Canvas Turbo A250 sports a fine screen with full HD resolution it is powered by 1.5 GHz quad core processor running Android 4.2 with 2 GB RAM and 16 GB internal storage there is no external SD card slot there is 13 megapixel rear autofocus camera with LED flash and a front 5 megapixel camera Battery is of 2000 mAh capacity that cannot be removed and this handset supports dual SIM. You need two micro SIMs and the micro SIM slots are present on the left side. The handset body is made up of aluminium, the build quality and the finishing is excellent. The overall performance is very good but because of the high screen resolution, gameplay may not be that smooth. This handset is priced at under Rs 19,500. For full review, sample images and videos, visit my website. Cookie.in